Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Today we are going to know about 7 mightiest warriors in mythology. Before starting the video, let me tell you that I have not included gods here. In this list you will get to see only mythological heroes. Also this video is for entertainment purpose only. Please don't take it seriously. So without any further ado let's start the video. Number 7 Bhishma In the great battle at Kurukshetra, Bhishma was the supreme commander of the Kaurav forces for 10 days. He fought reluctantly on the side of the Kaurav. Bhishma was one of the most powerful warriors of his time and in history. He acquired his prowess and invincibility from being the son of the sacred Ganga and by being a student of Lord Parshuram. Despite being about five generations old, Bhishma was too powerful to be defeated by any warrior alive at that time. Every day, he slew at least 10,000 soldiers and about 1,000 Rathis. On the tenth day of the war, the Pandava prince Arjun, with the help of Shikhandi, pierced Bhishma with numerous arrows and paralyzed him upon a bed of arrows. After spending 51 nights on the arrow bed, Bhishma left his body. Number 6 Arjun Arjun was a key warrior in Pandav's victory in the Kurukshetra war. He killed many powerful and key warriors of Kaurav's side. On the tenth day of battle, Shikhandi accompanied Arjun on the latter's chariot and they faced Bhishma, and then he was felled in battle by Arjun, pierced by innumerable arrows. On the twelfth day of the war, Arjun killed King Bhagadat, along with his mighty elephant Supratik. Arjun learns that Jayadritha blocked the other four Pandavas, at the entrance of Chakravyu, due to which Abhimanyu entered alone, and was killed unfairly by multiple Kaurav warriors, on the thirteenth day of the war. Arjun vowed to kill him the very next day before sunset, failing which he would kill himself by jumping in a fire. Arjun pierced into the core of army on the 14th day, killing 1.5 million soldiers of their army, and finally beheaded Jayadritha on 14th day of the war. He killed Sudakshana the king of Kambohas on the 14th day using Indrastra killing him and a large part of his army. On the 13th day, killed King Susharma of Trigarta kingdom, the main core of ally. The much-anticipated battle between Arjun and Karna took place on the 17th day of war. The battle continued fiercely and Arjun killed Karna by using Angelicastra. Number 5 Beowulf Beowulf was a legendary hero in Norse mythology. He killed nine giant sea serpents while in a five-day swimming, much against the mighty Breaker. He killed a dragon with his bare hands and in order to do so, he had to cut off his arm without the slightest sign of pain. Not only does he have unprecedented strength, he is also a master tactician and uses his vast knowledge to defeat his opponents, finding their weakness and seizing the advantage. He killed the giant demon Grendel completely naked and with no weapons. Beowulf is truly the greatest legend of all. He killed a dragon with only 12 bee swarms and a queen bee. He ripped off an arm from a monster that killed hundreds of highly trained warriors like nothing, killed the monster's mom, who was even scarier than her son. To top that off, he was a wise king, who brought peace for decades to his people. His physical strength is equivalent to that of gods like Odin or Thor. Number 4 Sun Wukong Sun Wukong was a monkey in Chinese mythology who became an immortal through Taoist practices. When he was fated to die he fought back and defeated Hell's messengers and wiped his name and his kind's names off of Hell's registry. Afterwards rebelled against heaven and defeated all of heaven's best generals. He was eventually trapped under a mountain by the Buddha where he remained imprisoned for 500 years. He was eventually released and to atone for his past sins escorted a monk on a pilgrimage to India to receive the holy scriptures from the Buddha. On this pilgrimage he fought and defeated a great many demons and monsters. A staff weighing 7960 kilograms that he easily wields. It can shrink, expand, and duplicated on his command. It was initially said to have been used to measure how deep the sea is. The monkey king himself was immensely strong and fast, could sharpie shift into any animal, knew how to cast various spells, and could turn each of his individual hairs into duplicates with the same ability. Feats include moving the earth, defeating armies of gods, and literally scaring death. Number 3 Achilles Achilles was a gladiator in Greek mythology. When he was dipped in river sticks, his entire body except for his heel became perfect and invulnerable, so his weakness became his heel. Not only this, but he is also known to be the, hero of the Trojan War. According to the Iliad, he could kill ten men per blade swing. It was his arrogance that got him killed. In other words because he knew he was basically invincible and an incredible warrior, he was overconfidence that got him killed. Achilles' fatal flaw is being overconfident and underestimating his opponents. Number 2 Hercules 
Hercules did everything in ancient Greek mythology. He beat multiple gods in hand-to-hand -hand combat, held up the weight of the sky with his own bare hands, helped the gods kill the giants. He has a cloak that makes him invulnerable, and has never lost a battle. Hercules is considered one of the strongest heroes to ever exist. Hera induced a madness in him and he killed his sons and wife. To atone for his sin he had to perform 12 labors that only gods could accomplish. He was deemed the greatest hero of all times by the Greeks and slayer of monsters and severe of humankind. Number 1 Karna Karna is the greatest warrior of all time. He is undoubtedly the undisputed and undefeated champion in all times. He was killed by Arjuna when he was unarmed. Karna's chariot wheel got stuck in mud. He took off his bow and arrow, and got down to help the chariot wheel come off when Arjuna targeted Karna to kill him. Karna was the mightiest, he could take down Bhim also easily. He is way powerful than every hero. He can never be beaten in a fair fight. Karna's divine armor cannot be penetrated by even Sudarshan Chakra of Lord Krishna. Karna had single-handedly defeated many powerful kings including Jarasandha who was invincible warriors at that time. So. These are the 7 mightiest warriors in mythology. Please comment if I missed any important warriors. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe my channel if you like this type of content. Please suggest me more topics in comment section. Thank you for watching.